as part of their division, you also had to meet similar requirements. You need to pay an annual fee to be a part of it as well. Well, moving forward, what we've seen um, is a lot of people are wanting to change the school. You know what I mean? Like, the people in my luxury are kind of here. Why am I paying? This is too much. I can still sell property because at the end of the day, we're in the business of selling real estate. Right? So then they need a community in order to kind of advance their 
training experience. And so that's where you get the earned in luxury commuting. The earned in added layer commuting, you're going to hear more about it, is where you need to have sold four luxury listings or four luxury properties within 12 months of 700000 above. Okay? Yeah. Well, now then, for those of you who just transferred in, if you can show from your um, previous place, I'm sure you can, that y'all sold that as a team, right? Even though you're no longer with the actual team, then we could probably get you to earn the interview. Okay? Um, so that's kind of how it goes. With that, you'll have additional training, you'll have additional seminars, and they'll tell you more about that. But there's additional community for you because you now have more of a brand need. Does that make sense? So that's your everyday look. You have an everyday brand need, not just a third of that listing. Now when you have one listing, some might be thinking, well, you know, I want to be in love with this, right? So at thinking from someone who wanted to be in love with you, find out in the love and talking to love a lot of love through Asia. One Property isn't going to get you into luxury. However, one person who believes in you, you see one or two people in the luxury community who believe in you, who can be your core advocate, that will help you tap into that world. Does that make sense? So once you find those one or two people, the reason why they say four, because then you'll probably get your two more that you might need, and then you're going to be more into looking at your branding after that. Usually after four transactions in the luxury world, you need to go into branding because you've done enough to wear one, expense-wise, it makes sense. And two, you'll probably get more referrals from that, right? There's no reason for you to start changing. Like, build it and they will come is not um, a, um, a terminology I would use when it comes to luxury or commercial. Because those two areas are rather expensive and it just doesn't work that way. They're really for you transferring into it, no, we don't have No, if you represent the buyer or the seller, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sorry, yeah. Whether you represent the buyer or the seller, as long as it's with four transactions. Another thing that I kind of want to go over, most of us are familiar with um, Domain Magazine. I think mean, YouTube probably has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but y'all, let me go get it real quick so you can ask me to see it. Luxury home real estate magazine, most of you can see, right? Okay. And in it, Keller Williams had one that was called Domain. Okay? And luxury agents would buy ads and put them in here, and you'll see here it's just ads after ads of luxury. Okay? Now that this one is just Tampa Bay, and um, it's all agents you can buy into the luxury magazine from a luxury that you can do. Now, with that being said, this one has all agents in here, and it's just like I said, such great luxury properties. Carol Williams had one too called the main, main concept. 
Now that you've added a different layer to it. So what they went back and said, you know, this is great, but is this really eye-catching to one of your clientele who might have just moved in a lovely home yesterday? They're not really caring about other houses for sale, right? But you're paying money on this. How can you continue to make it branded to you? And so when they think of you, they think of luxury, period, and then it can be sitting on their coffee table or in their business. And then if a friend were to look at it, would they be able to see you or would they accidentally look at every other agent commentator? Right? So the old domain is being retired and there's a new magazine that's coming out, okay? And you'll see information about um, that, that new luxury magazine. In the new luxury magazine, I, the best way to explain it, similar to those who are, who are familiar with an American lifestyle, we'll have, now, you can have your picture in the front, your property in the front, you open it up, and you'll have your listing in the very front page like this. It'll also have a bio of you on the second page, right? And then there'll also be an added insert, like a, like a letter from you, in there as well as an insert. And it will be mailed for you on your behalf. You have to send them 100 people of their database, and then they'll also give you things to mail too, but at no additional charge once you purchase it. Okay? Yes. But like, I know like people are pretty people are like really obsessed with um, architectural guidance and stuff like that. And those are the kinds of people that their houses and things like that. So it would be really cool if like, we like, so if we have a list of mm -hmm. sold, you know, third property, so somebody can make a spread on it, on, on them. Like this is, so yeah, you know, they just bought this, you know, like they, And they can make a ticket on the top of the one so on. You can do that too. You can add, you can, you can add a feature. Yeah. In the, so in the magazine, we'll have Eric to be cheaper. And in the magazine, we'll no longer just be about a bunch of properties that are for sale. Yes, it'll show some loan agent property, but now it's going to show luxury lifestyle. So you'll have different type of luxury lifestyle articles. So if you are open, an architectural side deck, it'll have like, Baths, and it'll have like a different types of cool bath um, architecture in there and styles and things of that nature. It will have that in your face. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. Um, and then what's nice about it is that now you have an actual luxury lifestyle magazine that can be displayed on your client's table. As a matter of fact, I would actually bring it to a business and leave it there and have them display it at their business. You know, his office, office, a mortgage lender's office, or whatever. Everyone loves to flip through those luxury magazines. Now it's more dedicated around here. Yes, there'll be other agents in there, but you'll see where it's probably displaying you, you, you over the new. You can even do you and a couple other um, luxury people in your office. Okay? So I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to give you an example of some. And Jenny, we're sharing my screen. So you tell me at any time if you don't see something, okay? So here's one that Winter Park in Central Florida did. This is a front. This is them. So already it's telling them about the performance right here. And here is, um, this is Leslie Akers. This was the previous president of Hell Owns International. You can have this. You don't need to. You can have yourself on here. Then here is the contents. And you can see here, as we're going through it, this is where I want to be. Here is an article about the area and about this particular house. Here's KW family of local of that area. 
So now it's kind of going in, and these are different articles that are featured. Still, here you're seeing different listings, right? But it's not, so these are listings outside your area. So it's not just about Florida for this people. Does that make sense? You can curate as many parts of the magazine as you want. You don't have to. You can do two or three pages where it's featured you prominently. So these just come out whenever, like, I decide. This is just not like a period of September issue. It is. It You'll is? see where it kind of like, you have to have, it comes out four times a year. And then within those four times a year, you'll see the date in which you have to put in your stuff. And then there are some pieces that will be standardized. And then there are these pages that you can customize. Yeah. And then here's um, where they, so this is a team. Now, I just kind of want to point something out because this is what our office will be moving into regardless of your luxury. Um, you'll see the team is wearing um, a uniform in color, okay? They're actually, but it doesn't look like it is. So the new like luxury look is more of a black, white, and gold blush tone, okay? And however you want to do it. You'll see previous luxury people do like all black outfits or all white outfits and stuff like that. So this is more of if you were going to do it that would be a look it's just kind of like what they've noticed is that doing the red or the blue or things of like that but you do something more muted with the black and the white however you want to do it this is kind of what they did but they did it all on their own it kind of looks like individual but not um not so like oh you're wearing just a random black outfit next to another random black outfit next to another random black outfit and they don't really look good other than another ball black um, here is just some articles. Here's just an article that they put in here. Again, they're promoting highly their team in this magazine over and over and over again. And you see Florida, Florida, Florida. And then now they'll show you other areas of the, of the country, right? Because you want to see other houses of the country. There's just some of Georgia. And then you'll see here's just a regular article in it, where before you'll just see straight um, houses. So this is of, an, of a person who actually purchased a property. And then here's with High Rise Levin. This is um, more articles that you'll see. So, um, it's just a little bit more informative for your consumer. What do y'all think? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So when we sign them up, can they get it like every time it comes out? You would you would have to do it because you're paying for it. Right. So you would do the subscription. And you would kind of cut. So I kind of want to show you that. So what I want to do is also um, we have a new president of luxury, and his name is Brady Sandhall. Sandhall, huh? Yeah, he's out in Palm um, Palm Beach. Palm. Uh, there's so many palms. Palm Desert, something in California. He's in California. He's an amazing person, amazing human being. He's already helped me help some of our agents. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of this. We're, I'm going to fast forward, but a lot of it, I wanted to you to hear it from him, and then we're going to kind of dive into it. So I'm going to be pressing pause and things of that nature. That's our new brand, House of Everything.
it was fast flying this far. So just to kind of go through, what we're saying is that because there's some key terminology, we're now the house, um, I'm talking about house that's going to build. <laughs> um, so he'll go over talking about the VR and exclusive boutique experience within Telemoya. Okay. One of the things that was interesting that um, they'll talk about a little bit is when they looked at the amount of luxury business that is actually within Keller Williams in comparison to all other brokerages, we sell the most luxury properties in any other brokerage in the country. However, the assumption is every other brokerage does because every other brokerage, especially with a boutique, like Michael Saunders or things of that nature, that's all they do is they use there as an assumption. Right, but when you look at the numbers, it's not really there. But perception is your reality. So how do we make or something right? Yeah, and you would think that they would beat us or outpace us every time, and they don't. Um, but if you look at those who are who were earned, who paid into that luxury thing, then those who just sold it, the numbers weren't working. So they're kind of okay. Let's rip that up. It's not working. It has to be about the property, not about. The and so, um, so now our numbers will reflect even higher because now you're actually having an opportunity. And we're like, look, what we really need to help our agents is when they sell luxury listings, they should have that luxury brand. So when consumers are driving around, they'll see the consistency of that luxury brand. They're like, oh, can I be luxury? I want to be a part of that. Instead of it being... It'll still be your name and brand to you, but now there's a brand behind the brand, but an added layer of speaking in. Okay. So I'm fast forwarding to things that I don't think. Need. Yeah, we don't need to this right. So what he's talking about is that originally this is for those who had earned in. So just to let you know, those who had earned in sold four or more in our market center are the McCrackens, the Leslie Brown team, Barry Hershberger, and Nicole Manta. So those are the four in our market center in the last 12 months have sold over 700 and above. Okay. So they learned about it first. And then now I'm opening up to everyone because I think that there's this piece of really good and I think it's vital for y'all to know about it. Okay?
So just to kind of give you this into context, this placed us over 20% above the in their numbers during a pandemic. Like I just kind of, <laughs> we really think about it. During a pandemic, not only did we increase our number, but we're far above what was known as or is known as worldwide luxury. Okay. They're going to show you, but now like I have a playbook for me. So if you came to me and said, hey, I have a luxury client that I want to, um, that will have an opportunity to list their house with or serve as a buyer. Or I have a community that I want to go in and start cultivating. Well, I have a playbook of people who I can connect you with. I have a playbook of standards that have been um, achieved nationwide that we can kind of help you and hone you to where we're not scrambling at the last minute trying to connect you and looking like we don't know what we're doing, right? So then we just kind of systematically we can help you. And then that allows you to focus on the creativity of servicing your client instead of trying to build a foundation and a brand around it, right? So it's kind of less timing. So that's what he's talking about. What's also nice is within KWLS, you know how one of the things that we say is that when you list a property, it goes out to many different search engine sites, right? Well, now, as soon as your property that you list hits that $700,000 threshold, you can safely know it's now also being marketed at luxury sites like Wall Street Journal, 
and things of that nature. Now, you don't have to try and look for those things. It's automatically being done for you. Okay? That's just an added benefit. Instead of you having only those who actually pay that annual fee, we'll get to be a part of those that luxury side of pay to be all that thing. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 Before it was just for those of you who are part of the luxury division. So just to make clear what he means is that when you need to go out and sell, kind of like an elevator pitch is what you can do immediately within level one or well, one to three, right? And so he's saying, okay, here's your elevator pitch, right? So this is basically your script is Kellerman's Luxury is the house of excellence. I love that, right? I mean, it just reminds me of her name, you, you know, or Cartier or um, Coco Chanel, right? It's just the house of excellence. Home of the world's finest agent selling more luxury than any other company. So now when I said, oh, what about Sotheby? What about this? We sell more. Oh, I see them everywhere. So that's all they do. That's all they do. I was talking to someone here, um, a, a contractor. He's like, yeah, I help out this really large brokerage in Sarasota. I was like, oh, well, who's the brokerage? And he said the name. I was like, I've never heard that brokerage. He's like, oh, well, they really just do um, luxury. I don't think, you know, they may just sell on the beach. I go, oh, so they only service the high end. They don't really service everybody. We service everyone. Everyone. Whether you're selling $10,000 home or a $10 million home. That is our value. Because we value everyone. And we excel at a high level. 
our $33.5 billion market share at the highest end of the market has solidified our status as leaders in the luxury real estate industry. That $35.5 billion, $33.5 billion, that's in the luxury realm of a million dollar and up. So we, we actually dominate that market. That's not saying anything less than that. That's just in that luxury. So then here is your pitch. When someone says, I would rather you so and so, it's kind of like, ask them to bring you their number. Why would you go with number four or five when, you're, when number one is standing right here? This is our brain storage. This is our doesn't change when you're selling. are what we call our 15 standards of export. And we're going to share with you the 15 standards of export. I'm leading us almost every Friday. Would that be of interest if we had both playing live here and then we had like a mastermind around it? Would that be of something? So basically what he's saying is we have at our fingertips luxury people from across the country who are selling at a high level that we can learn from as well, right? And bring into our own businesses. So almost every Friday at noon on KW Connect, which is where you get a lot of our library of information, they'll have someone talking about the 15 pillars of excellence that he was referring to. And I was thinking this morning of putting that into our calendar, some of those topics, and then either myself or Nicole or someone who's often come in here and we just have a conversation. And like, why we listen in and then we mastermind around it and see how we can bring it into our business. Yeah? Okay. This will elevate. So this is the new luxury sign, retail sign.
need to understand and deliver a lot of great experience for the elite. So just to kind of let you see the thought process behind this as well is this is your name, right? Very prominent. Keller Williams Gold, not so prominent. KW Luxury, prominent, right? And then for sale with your phone number. Imagine if there were 30 to 50 for sale signs that look like this, but you only had one, right? Then you went and did a listing presentation. The assumption is you have all 30. Because even, even if it was from another market center, so it doesn't matter if it's the Venice office, the Sarasota office or whatever, the way they branded it is so that way people remember the look and then they'll equate that with you when they make contact. Yes. You can do this today. Oh. Yeah. And unless for some areas that won't let you do it. I mean, I think I would put that out there until somebody. You could do it by, you know, there's kind of like ask for forgiveness later at That's what I'm, that's what I'm, I've always believed in it. I don't, there's times that it's easy Yeah, so, okay. So I just kind of want you to think of that process. That's why they're encouraging everyone to do that. Okay. Is it qualified luxury? That's huge, guys. What that means is that once you have your listing up on MLS, right, and and you allow however many seconds or hours, I don't know how long it takes for it to reach command system for the center O, you no longer have to wait for us to say, oh, you have luxury. Now you can get into the luxury website, right? It's just automatic. You can be sitting at home in the middle of the night and start working on your luxury stuff, right? It's not, it's not for you to have to find someone. To, to, to go and do it. That's why he means it's at your fingertips in the marketplace. So this is the part that if you get into the floor, you'll get all of this additional stuff too. Okay.
So what he talked about last 24 months, because we had gone through and changed everything over, it was 24 months. Okay. Um, now that everything is live, we've brought all those people in moving forward. It'll be 12 months back in all the We're going to move foot forward with this, okay? So does that make sense when he's saying, so before, right, as marketing, you would use your own marketing and you would figure it out for luxury. What they're saying is now, for those who are earning, you can do the white glove professional services, where basically it's a marketing department that does all your marketing for you. You just tell them what you want, how it looks, and they'll make all the brands, everything that you ever need um, is right there, including your social media stuff. So those are those who have earned in.
Now we're going to dive into it. I'm going to go through it in a second. So I'm going to go through this myself with you guys. So I think it's easier if I went through it than you did. And, okay. So if you're at, I'll go through here like this. You come into your home page, okay? You're going to go to KW Connect. And this is where you'll get all of your extra trainings, calendar, resources, all that great stuff. You'll go under community. Okay. There's a drop box under community. It says the new KW luxury. And this is where we're at. So you'll click on this and you'll see here the house of excellence pops up. As you scroll down, it'll tell you about KW luxury. And here you have your stats for you. The stats that he had mentioned before, the 33.5 billion, and these stats will easily be updated at all times. So now you don't have to hunt for stats really quick, the big ones. Now there might be other ones that you need specifically, for maybe for Grand Palm and things of that nature. But when you're looking at on the bigger scale, they're just right here. Here's your elevator speed. Um, talk about some details. If you ever want to look back at some videos, some you can download some flyers. Some, it tells you more about the benefits for those of you who will earn in eventually. And then it has some pieces. So if you want to request yard time, right? So now you just go here, you click on this, and it'll take you to go for your yard time. That simple. Um, if you want to learn more about qualifying your properties, it's there. But we're going to go into collateral. Um, if you want to learn more about how to do video brochures, or your luxury stuff right here they'll plug you in to the people that you need to do your luxury video and then um, if you want to do some more syndications that you can't we're going to go into the collateral section you go into collateral collateral is an easy thing it's now it's going to take you into command that's all it's doing it's just an easier place it's going to take a bit for it to kind of like to so be patient i know we all hate we want things to be more microwavable but now it just gives you straight into command in the luxury area. So what you do here, if you'll look right here, you see luxury. And now I'm going to go and look at, you'll see for sale signs listed just sold, but I'm just going to like basics. So here's basics. One of the most popular ones is, and he'll talk about this, so I just kind of want to show you. It's the, um, building your brand. So here it is. I want to use this. I'll just click it. Again, it's going to take a minute. And I actually printed out for you. It didn't do it in color for some reason. This is just a listing presentation that you can give. You can add the content really easily and change out the picture, but it's kind of all done for you on the look. Okay. And what's nice about this one is that this is customized and digitized where you can email it out as a magazine. Like how I showed you where we click on it with magazine and magazine, it will do the same thing for you. So if you want to go ahead and send this ahead of time, and you can, and when they open up the link, they would just click it and it'll open up like a map. Okay. Um, oh, I did it wrong. Sorry. It, you can make it as a pre listing, absolutely. Your open house signs, I mean, your, your open house flyers. So there's a different language when you do your luxury, right? So it's not we're doing an open house. You're doing, you're booking a tour, right? So you're doing a tour um, or exclusive. Like when I had it, it was, um, I never had for sale, I had offered. I never used the word for sale. It was, um, we're offering it to you as being offered. That was the word that we used back then. I don't know if it's still being used now. 
Um, so here's join us. I've always got one. Very clean, very simple for just souls. Also clean, very simple, easy for you to use. To be able to drop in a picture if you need to. Okay, so let's go back to him and he'll talk more a little bit. Where are you? And this is really important for you to hone in with your clients, especially being in Florida, for two reasons. One, as I've been here for a year now, there's one thing that I feel like a lot of the luxury agents are missing out is they're waiting for people to buy luxury when they're here. And they're only focused on local. Yet a lot of luxury people are not local at all. No, right. They're coming here from somewhere. This is their second home, not their first their third home, their second thought. I had one person here who I don't understand yet, but uh, they just, they're about to close on a $4.25 million beach house that they are not going to be living in. They live less than a mile down the road, but it's going to be there for their guests. That way their guests don't have to live, stay in their house and they come live there. And they're going to use it as an office. I'm like, that is a lot of money he's spending on cash, right? And it's kind of like we need to think bigger than the local luxury agent because they're waiting until people come here. You can connect the conversation going, I'm connected with you here. I'm connected with you there. I'm in a community to where if you have your house that you're living in, that's probably more than your luxury 4.25 house let me connect you with an agent to help you sell list or buy that and then i get a 25 percent commission off a 10 million dollar house 
like you need to think bigger because the opportunities are there. Okay, so always hone that in. Were you gonna say something? Is that right? Wall Street Journal and Forbes. Now you don't have to find that information anymore. Others, your listening presentation. I'm going to go through this. I showed all that. So what he's talking about a luxury hub before we get there is when you're in KW Connect, you see what went to it's right underneath there, the luxury hub. You can watch a video about it, but you'll see here everything you need to know is up here that you have. And this is for those who are in the luxury earned in earned in community. Okay. So this will be their training library and their training calendar. And then they'll have the Luxury Outfront magazine that I had talked to you about. That you get to be on it too, but they get an extra level of service in it. Okay. So everything I gave you, you get. Um, they have a close Facebook group. And here's the official style guide. So then, um, and the logo for flyers and things. So they have it here. We are a luxury designated office. You can come to me until you've earned in to get this type of collateral. Like if you want to have certain, you want to do the white look of your business cards or things that nature. Um, and then the listening presentation design, design file. And then they just have an easy access. So like you have, let's say the um, why work with me listening presentation. If I were to click on this, it just goes automatically to the Google Drive and I download it onto my computer. So that's just the difference in the earned in. Right, so that's what I mean. And that's really it. We, oh, well, I'll let him finish up the very end.
Okay. That's really it. So what did y'all think? Yeah, do you have any questions or anything like that? Yeah, okay, good. Good. Yeah, that's what I really like about it. It's super, super easy. Um, there's no, um, especially for those of us, and I remember when I was trying to get to luxury. You know what I mean? It was like, well, you have to do this, this, and this. And I was like, not yet, not yet, not yet. But for me to get there sometimes, it's kind of like, I need a dollar in order to make more. So I'm like, well, I need that stuff in order to do this. So it's kind of like, darn if you do, darn if you don't. And now they're saying, it's just a property. If you need help getting these listings, we'll help you with that too. You know what I mean? And I love the fact that just one email address. I actually emailed Brady, Brady. On um on a for a recruiting appointment, he was so helpful. Um, he, he did a Zoom call within like three days. He's like, hey, I can help you. No, no big deal. So do not think that you need to go through me to get to him. Is what I'm saying. Um, it's a lot more transparent. It's just a lot more open, and it's kind of like, hey, what do you need? We're gonna try and get him to do a Zoom class for us. On, I mean, he's just a great storyteller. He, he works. He has gone through the entire risk calls and training. If you can't tell the way he said gentlemen and ladies over and over and over again, like he is so dialed in when it comes to giving that level of service. Um, I just love him. He's just an amazing human being. Met him a couple of times and I went out in Chicago and he probably was my agent there. I'm really, really excited about what he's going to do. And he wasn't even in that role. But now that he's actually in the role, I'm like, um, yeah. Yeah. And it is. And I really, really think as I've been kind of like on the back end watching, two things I'm watching customer service and agent service. I'm telling you, there's so much opportunity for you guys to dominate because I feel like there's a level of agent to agent service that's not being done at the high level that should be in terms of like being able to have a really good meeting with each other. 
um, one of my best friends still to this day is with Brookshire Hathaway. I love her to death. Um, and we met on real estate. You don't see that either for ridiculous reasons. Um, and I want to tell her people that I won't leave here for ridiculous reasons. We were always really respectful to each other at a high level because we both were in the same class here. I feel like there's a level of that that's missing. And some people that's not why it could be. Could be. Um, if you elevate that, especially in the luxury field, you'll be golden. Because at that world, it's not about you anymore. It really is about servicing that client. Because those clients, if you have, if this one agent is dealing with a, that $4.2 million tax deal that's going to close in 10 days and finding the property, um, <laughs> the, um, they have higher expectations on a shorter time frame. For them, but it, it's not about being all knowing, it's just knowing what questions to ask. And that's really all it is. So she's like, I never told her what she's going to get over, you know, X amount of dollars. I'm like, you're fine, don't worry about it. You've got it. We've plugged them in this time. And it all happened over Saturday night. So, um, it's okay. You don't have any business for what you do. So, um, anyway, thank you for coming. Do you have any more questions? Um, do you like the way? back and forth with the video. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Bye, Jenny. Oh, sure you are.